Alright, hello and welcome, and as promised, this will be my preview for the championship game. Uh, before we get into that, just a few announcements. Um, don't expect a video from me this week until at least next Sunday, because I am going away for spring break. So, I'm not going to make a video until at least next Sunday. Alright, and also, please subscribe. I know they say this every video, but uh, I gotta get it in there. Thank you to everybody that has subscribed. Um, expect more videos more often, so that makes you want to subscribe, please do. Just subscribe. Makes you feel good inside. But uh, before we get into that, we get into the championship game, let's talk a little bit of baseball. And this is something that's been really getting on my nerves this week. Well, not really getting on my nerves, but something I really wanted to bring up. And that is the Detroit Tigers. Now, if any of you are not familiar with the Detroit Tigers, this offseason they went out and spent a shitload of money to go get a couple huge contracts, just to name a few, Dontrell Willis, and uh, Miguel Cabrera, and so far they have started out the worst team in Major League Baseball. Uh, they are either 1-4 or 0-5, oh not sure if they won yesterday, but it really doesn't matter either way. It's a huge disappointment for the first week of the season. Now obviously, I know I get a ton of comments saying, oh, it's the first week of the longest season out of any professional sport. They're going to turn it around. Well, you know, it's not a good way to start off. You don't want to dig a hole. Anyway, I wanted to start off with this common misconception that Money can buy baseball teams. Money cannot buy winning baseball teams. Money can buy winning basketball teams. Money can buy winning, um, excuse me, money can buy winning football teams. Money cannot win winning baseball teams. Examples. Um, let's start off first with the Los Angeles Lakers. A few years back, the Los Angeles Lakers, well, actually, I think it was five years ago, went out and had about basically an all star roster as their starting five. I think they had Rick Fox. Gary Payton, Carl Malone, Kobe Bryant, and Shaquille O'Neal. Sorry if I'm wrong on that. I'm not a huge Lakers fan, but I'm, I know they had four being Carl Malone. I'm not sure who was their fifth starter, but in either way, they were a great team. They had a huge salary, but they went all the way to the national. They went all the way to the uh, finals. I don't think they won, but either way, just to get that far. I mean, obviously it shows money can buy talent. Another example in football, the New England Patriots. They went out and got Randy Moss, they went out and got Junior Sale, they went out and got all these big players for last year, uh, the big wide receiver core, and of course the everything else, of course they built up too, but obviously and we know with the addition of Randy Moss they were uh, the best team in football for every week except for the uh, Super Bowl game obviously, but still as again proves money can buy that. Baseball seems to be a different story. Let's look at the last couple years. Now everybody, when they think of money buying baseball, they think of one team, and that of course is the New York Yankees. Now of course the New York Yankees do make the playoffs every year, but for the last couple years, they haven't made it to the World Series. And uh, every year they just keep going out, getting more people, getting more people. Every year, they either get worse or it doesn't help them at all. I mean, they can't get past the first round. And, you know, logic says, you know, this team should be beating everybody on paper. Why aren't they winning? And uh, it's not easy. I mean, it just seems like baseball is one of those sports where... You have to have homegrown talent. You have to have a mixture of good players and you know players that are role player players that uh, you know steal bases, hustle players, good at defense, not just big 40 home run hitters in every spot. And uh, I don't think the uh, Detroit Tigers went out to do that, but as it shows, I mean they were supposed to be this huge World Series favorite going into the beginning of the season, and now what? I mean we'll see what happens, but I just that's all I really wanted to say about that. Um, I do think they will turn it around. I just want to throw that in there. But, you know, let's move on now to the championship game. Uh, if you watch my other video, you will see that I got one of the two picks correct, picking Kansas over North Carolina. I did, of course, not get Memphis over UCLA, but let's talk about the Memphis and UCLA game. This game kind of shocked me. It wasn't a huge shock, but it was somewhat of a shock. Um, basically, the whole game, sum it up in one story, Memphis was ten times more athletic than UCLA, ten times quicker. Uh, UCLA tried to slow the pace of the game down, or the game pace down, but it just didn't work at all. Memphis just blew them off the court. It wasn't really ever close. I mean, at the end of the first half, momentum was starting to shift UCLA's way when uh, they got the cut the lead down to three, but then Memphis just came out in the second half, blew them out away with the athleticism. Now move on to the uh, Kansas-North Carolina game. Uh, this game was a huge surprise. Kansas came out and was just dominating North Carolina in every fashion of the game. Towards the middle of the game, North Carolina battled back, and then at the end of the game, Kansas just hit them down with the athleticism. 
Uh, now move on to my picks. Sorry if I'm going really fast, but uh, my camera doesn't have that much memory, and I want to get it to sell in before it ends. Um, I am going to pick Kansas over Memphis, as I don't, I don't want to flip-flop my pick. Why am I picking this? Uh, Kansas can match up athletically with Memphis. Kansas can shoot better than Memphis. Kansas can shoot free throws better than Memphis, and I know Memphis did shoot good for three free, free throws versus UCLA, but uh, they're two evenly matched teams. Uh, Memphis has been blowing teams away with their athleticism. They cannot blow Kansas away with their athleticism. Kansas has a better starting five than Memphis, just as quick as Memphis, just as athletic, and a bigger program. So my pick is Kansas. Uh, leave your comments, tell me what you think about both the baseball and the uh, Final Four. Subscribe if you already haven't. Love you. Won't see you until at least a week from now. Peace out.